Hey everybody, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope that you're having a great day so far. I wanna say happy day 12 of July Jamboree. I hope that you guys have been watching all of the videos. It's been so, so much fun filming every day again. And today we are going to be reviewing Dimash vocalizing or singing vocalize. I don't know if that's the song or if he's just vocalizing, but it's from the Are Now Tour. Very exciting. Cannot wait. But first I want to say hello to anyone who is brand new. I'm a vocalist and a vocal coach and I break down performances here on YouTube and I hope that you're as excited as I am as well. And before we get started, I do want to give a very special shout out to Kat. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and commenting on my videos. Your support means the world to me. So thank Thank you so so much Kat and if you would like the chance to be next video shout out all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel like this video comment anything you like down below but don't forget to use the hashtag subscription squad and with that being said let's go ahead and take a listen to Dimash It always surprises me when he sings so low because I'm so used to hearing Dimash sing so high in that almost alto soprano and for him to like start out so low. I've been reviewing stuff that, you know, he's singing so high. This is just, it always like catches me off guard. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that he can sing so low too. Like his range is amazing. <laughs> So mysterious. Oh, I love that softness in his voice. So much control in his falsetto, too. Gosh, that space is beautiful. in that push and pull, oh my goodness. Switch. Such a good switch to his mix too.
gonna pause it here because it looks like we have a little bit of a break before he's gonna start singing again, a little instrumental. But so far, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the control that he had in the very, very beginning. Just this softness and almost lullaby feeling in his placement was absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I have heard something like this from Dimash before. Just this, this start off with the slow and controlled falsetto, it's absolutely beautiful. And then I love how he switched into his mixed voice. Such a quick switch too. You know, I always say this when I review Dimash. His switches are always so effortless and so, so clean. It's just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And then I also loved when he switched into his tenor, that beautiful operatic sound. And also he's doing something with his throat with this push and pull, which is something I love that comes from Dimash. And I think he does such a great job of controlling his voice, just so great. baby runs too. Ooh. That was amazing. So many different experimental ways I feel like he did with his vowels. There were so many different vowels in there that he was doing with this vocalize. I don't know if it's called vocalize or if it's just him vocalizing. My thought is he's just vocalizing, but there were so many different vowels that he used. Like at the end, he was using some W-A-U's it kind of sounded like, which gave off a completely different sound in his placement, which I really liked. And at the very, very end, you could kind of see his mouth was a little bit more closed like this when he was singing, which created a little bit more space back here because you could see his face was still alert and alive, but it kind of gave it a little bit different sound because it was closed off, which I really liked like that there were so many different sounds and placements happening throughout this whole song. It was really fun and so interesting to watch. So thank you so much for having me react to this video. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for another day of July. Bye.